All right, Tom here with another installment of How Strange Is Your Dystonia. Today I want to demonstrate the effect of lighting and lighting systems on my condition. Now I'm in my kitchen here and not having any problems that I'm aware of. Um, I've got an incandescent floor lamp here, or desk lamp I guess you'd say, and incandescent lights don't seem to have any impact on me, so so I can turn that on and I'm going to use it to maybe in improve the, the lighting of the video. But um, according to the polling I've done over the years, about 40 to 50 percent of blepharospasm patients have figured out that fluorescent lighting is causes them to have more spasms and I'm no exception to that rule. So I'm going to turn on a little fluorescent light here and you can see that uh, that pretty much immediately shuts my right eye down and I can feel my feels like my left eyebrow is uh, pulling up so the fluorescent light has a significant impact. Now most people think that it's the visible light that creates the problem but I'm going to put that towel over the light so I can't really see it but my right eye is still shut down so it's not the visible light coming through my eyeballs that's creating the problem. Now another type of light that creates problems is ultraviolet lights. This is a black light and I'll go ahead and turn that on and we'll see that takes a second to uh, come on but it pretty much does the same same exact thing, shuts my right eye down. Don't feel quite as much uh, on the left side but uh, definitely a problem with the with the right side. Now let's see what happens when I turn both of these on at the same time. Ooh, that's, that's very significantly different. That brings my mouth and jaw into the situation and also shuts both my eyes down. I'm trying pretty hard to see the camera here but um, uh, having both of those on at the same time definitely creates major problems. And the same situation is true. I can put a, a towel over those and it really doesn't have any impact on, on what it's doing to me. So I'll turn this uh, ultraviolet off and now I'm back to uh, just having the eye problems. So if you think that fluorescent lights and black lights are affecting your dystonia, you may well be correct and I doubt seriously that it's the visible light, it's probably other energy that those systems are throwing off.